Hey guys, this video is about Dave Chappelle. We've seen many of these types of videos saying that either Dave is dead or that he's been cloned. And uh, these folks speak very definitively as if they know for a fact one way or the other. I am a little bit different. Some of those videos that I've seen do make some sort of sense on a very small scale, but because they speak so definitively without citing where they're getting their information, <clears throat> excuse me, really can't uh, put too much stock into what they're saying. I will say, though, that Dave is very different these days than he used to be. Uh, the way he looks, the way he sounds, not just his voice, his inflection, it, it's, it's more of what he's talking about and his, his thought pattern. He's very different. <clears throat> he dresses differently now. He's uh, more into that GQ kind of thing where that's not Dave's personality. It's not how he rolls. Uh, these pictures you see here in front of you don't show it. But he now wears jewelry. I want to say it's on his left forefinger. He's got a silver ring. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm leaning more towards some kind of possible mind control. Because really, Dave is so talented. And uh, he's worth so much to the machine that to just kill him off and be done with it is just freaking stupid, honestly. The fact that he can make $60 million with Netflix, they're going to give this Negro 60 mil. Understand, folks, that means that whoever's writing that check is making 50 times that. So it's worth it to give him that, which they consider, in this case, nigger pennies. If you can believe that. Folks, all I'm saying is that I miss the guy. In my opinion, Dave's a freaking genius. He had me cracking up with the show. His stand-up is always off the chain, or it used to be anyway. More recently, it's been watered down. His, his, his interviews, you'll see with Letterman and whoever else, watered down. Things he won't say. Look at these two pictures. It's kind of hard to believe they're the same person. I mean, obviously, they look, you know, enough alike for you not to be totally confused. But when I first saw the guy on the right, I couldn't help but Look, and I don't remember which talk show it was or which interview it was, but I really wasn't able to focus too much on the interview because I was just like, who is this guy? He kind of sounds like Dave. Reminds me of Dave, but I, I, I really, really, in my heart of hearts, don't believe it's Dave Chappelle. And I know I'm, I sound crazy saying this out loud. I just don't think it's him. Or it's they've done something obviously this guy on the right is bigger as far as he's more uh, he's heavier not heavy but heavier uh, he's got a similar hairline I mean it's not hard to find a doppelganger and find someone who uh, sounds like the other person is a lot of you know Barack imposters it's, just, it's not that hard to do but I don't know. Anyway, I'm asking you guys to kind of put your, your, your thoughts in the comment section. Because I'm I am interested to hear your thoughts on what this is. I'm going to do a few more of these videos. Not just based on Dave. Just on stuff that I've seen. I just have questions and uh, I'd like to get some feedback on, on uh, some of these thoughts that I have. Th by the way, this is not an open invitation to you... Uh, 
you know, tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists. You know, you guys can miss me with all that nonsense. I'll, I'll uh, but I will welcome anybody who's got stuff that uh, they believe is of value to what's going on in today's world. So, with that said, guys, uh, that's it. Have a good one. Thanks.